Amnesty International released a report today looking at the Lessons Learned and Reconciliation Commission, and Amnesty International's looked at all of the publicly available material, transcripts of the hearings. We've tried to get a sense of everything that this commission has done so far, and what we found is that it is uh, fundamentally flawed. It's flawed in its mandate, it's flawed in the composition of the commission, and in practice, the commission really did not properly pursue allegations of serious war crimes and crimes against humanity. For the last two years, the Sri Lankan government has used the LLRC to try to buy time and to deflect international pressures for accountability. Uh, this is simply one of the latest in a long series of similar ad hoc commissions that the Sri Lankan government has used to, to put off international pressure. Tens of thousands of victims in Sri Lanka demand justice for atrocities committed by all the sides of the conflict. For the victims of the conflict to move on, it's essential that they have justice and accountability. The Sri Lankan government keeps saying that uh, instead of focusing on justice, instead of looking at accountability and what happened in the past, people should just look at the future. But what we see is that impunity and lack of accountability is still going on in Sri Lanka at two years after the end of the conflict. And it's important for that cycle of impunity to be broken. It's important for the Sri Lankan people to think that justice belongs to them also. And in order to do that, they need international support, which can only come through an independent international accountability mechanism.